The idea out of City Hall could bring a massive sporting event right here to our borough. But as News 12's Greg Thompson found out, Bronxites are worried that it could also bring a massive headache. Most days, Van Cortlandt Park is filled with people playing cricket. We have a long history of cricket here. Um, I love cricket. It's fun to watch. So with the Sports World Cup coming to the U.S. next summer, it's not out of the blue that the mayor's office would think that could be a place to host it. I applaud the mayor for trying to, you know, do this in the Bronx, but the parade ground in Van Cortlandt Park, I don't see how that could possibly work. In a letter from multiple politicians, the main concerns are around the building of a 34,000 seat temporary stadium over nearly half of this part of the park, which officials say would make it unusable for a year. It's um, not a vacant lot. It is a big open space, but it is not a vacant lot, and, and it feels a little like that's how it's being treated. Bronxites and local business owners say for an event that would last less than a week, this kind of shutdown just isn't worth it. This park's not built for that. It's, it's, it's not a park to make money off of. It's a park for people to, uh, to use and enjoy. It feels like they just said, okay, how about Van Cortlandt Park? But they haven't really had a conversation with the people who utilize Van Cortlandt Park. So who would benefit from this? Well, in a letter bringing up a lot of the same concerns, Borough President Vanessa Gibson does point out that all those extra people could mean a lot more local business here on Broadway, but not everyone seems to be buying that. Concessions are already in the stadium, so I don't know if they say building it is going to guarantee people coming here. Not to mention that parking is already a nightmare in the area, even when nothing is going on. Another reason Dinowitz says other places in the Bronx, like Yankee Stadium or maybe the parking lot at Orchard Beach, might be better options. In Riverdale, Greg Thompson, News 12.